important time on the midcourt. I have to say, when I, when I looked at the draw and I looked at the order of play and Anthony Clark and Heather Olver, you know, up against the Olympic champions, I thought, real tall order. But I looked at this one and I have a real belief that the English pair can win this. I really mean that. Yeah, I'm, I talked to Nathan a little bit this morning and he, he's confident. He's really pleased with that performance last night. He's really confident that Jenny's made great strides in the last six months. And this is a pair that's really on the up. And this is a really good test for them. As I say, if you're going to play Nova Natsia, playing them in Europe is probably the best place to play them. Nine, just long. Nine, seven. But good signs that Jenny's being aggressive. I think she's got to be aggressive on the forecourt and try and get control of it. And I wouldn't be worrying too much when she's making mistakes being aggressive for the time being. I remember watching Jenny Woolwick in the women's doubles, actually, in the European Team Championships in Liverpool last year. I have to say, I thought she was the best player on court. I think that the way she has taken her opportunities, you know, it's a tall order when you're filling the shoes of a player like Gail Ems, who's enjoyed so much success with Nathan Robertson. But she's, she's really risen to the challenge, and I think that shows great character. Absolutely. Um, Jen is someone who's got a great work ethic. And again, Nathan's very, very comfortable playing with Jenny because he knows she'll listen, he knows she'll work on the areas that she needs to, and he's got great confidence that he can actually achieve achieve medal level results with Jenny in the future. Yes, it's Willie Anto to serve a little bit of confusion there. Well, worrying signs to me that Nathan Robertson, after making the error on the smash there, seemed to be holding his knee. <laughs> well, doesn't seem to be making any play of it. Maybe just a moment terror. Little tweak or something. Oh yeah, there, there is a bit of concern I think maybe. Okay, so if you were there right now, what would you be saying to the players? I think, I think Nathan's just forced a little bit so far with the attack. I think he can use the centre a little bit more, which and that's a good example there. I think if he uses the centre there, it just puts Jenny in a better position and it's going to get her into the game early on, which she probably needs to build a bit of confidence. Yeah, he so felt something go in his leg there. 11-8. That's very, very good smash from Nova Woody Anto. And a good, a good example of what you were saying, Jill, that Natsia is very happy to come off the net, defend once or twice, change the direction. Very, very comfortable in defence there, which give, gives Nova a, a freer rein to, to play some more shots and change the direction. Signs. Jenny stepping out on the straight there and being positive. Very good. Service over. Nine, twelve. Good anticipation. Yeah. 
service over. Not a lot you can do about that. Liliana Nazia just apologising for the good few fortune. Net corn return. the cross-court guided shot that did the damage good touch from Nathan to so set up the attack there and good finish as well hitting a good angle knee looked good there as well because he was able to get off the ground here we can see that good jump smash doesn't seem to be a reaction there pace now uh, certainly if you'd asked me before the match whether they should be playing fast rallies I'm not sure I would have said that I would have said try and mix up the pace steer the shuttle but it's working for them at the moment I think that's been one of the interesting things with the development of this partnership when they started Nathan was always trying to take the pace out and Jenny was finding that quite stressful because she's quite an aggressive player in the front court as we can see here and uh, Little by little, Nathan started to mix the pace up a little Service bit more, over. and Jen is a lot more comfortable now with some more pace in the game. But it's perhaps an area of her game that she can work on, taking the pace out of the shuttle at the front of the court. Yeah, I mean, that's been identified, and it, it's coming, but still Jenny's natural instinct is to be positive and to go forward and be aggressive. And in pressure situations, it's good to follow your, your natural instincts. Oh, I know, I wanted to smash every shuttle as hard as I possibly could. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Just wide. Good rally. Judgment, she could have played it, chose to leave it, and was long of that back line. Good rally again, and good patience, keeping the attack, not forcing too much, keeping the Indonesians on the defence. Good, good, solid play there. And Jenny, again, showing showing good, uh, good mobility to get behind the shuttle and confident to stay in the rear court, and good movement. 278 kilometres an hour. That's... What, 173 miles an hour? Goodness me. Oh, confusion. And it does take time. It doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight to have that real understanding. Who's going for which shots? Yeah, I mean, it, it's still very much early days of this level of match. Although they've played a few tournaments now, they've not had so many matches at this level at this stage of the tournament. So it's a new experience still for Jenny to be in this stage of a tournament in front of a big crowd. So there's bound to be one or two hiccups. 16-14. Oh! Yeah, they've actually reached three quarterfinals previously in Super Series events, the English pairing, but never progressed further. <laughs> 